Hi, today I've been running some live coaching online. Um, I've streamed it live on YouTube, which, um, which is where you can find the full versions of um, all three of those coaching sessions that I ran today. Um, but what I've done is, because they're quite long, I've taken some clips and put them on this video for you, just to give you a flavour of the kind of coaching um, that I've been doing. Now, if you want to reach out to me and you want some help, then I'm on Shea, S-H-E-A, at wisemeup.co.uk. Alternatively, if you go to the website, wisemeup.co.uk, you can reach me through that, and also my phone number is on there too. So um, yeah, text me or email me or send me an inquiry through the website and we can schedule a session to help you. In the meantime, here are the clips. Um, I hope you enjoy them and I hope they're more importantly, I hope they're really helpful to you. Take care, I'll speak to you soon. I'm a um, app developer, so uh -huh. I've just, I used to be like a full-time employment with another company just developing apps. Yeah. I've recently just gone like, Freelancing, trying to like sell like small apps to small companies. Well done. But I'm just literally having no luck with it whatsoever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> In, so, so where shall we start? At the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you targeting, Fatima? Um, I'm targeting like personal trainers at the moment, but really any company. Okay, so any company and that's the benefit from a mobile app. Right. And what's been the big challenge? The big challenge most of the time I face is I can't seem to get past the receptionist. And okay. the second challenge I face is like as soon as I start telling them about what I do, I just straight out just get her, I'm not interested. Right, okay. Right, but we can work with that. Now before I go any further, I just need to remind you, um, I think I spoke to you before just telling you that this would be live. Yeah. And it, you, it's um, streaming right now live, and so afterwards you can watch it back. So it's okay. quite good for you actually to be able to catch up and um, catch yeah. it back again. Um, sometimes I think it helps to just try and put yourself in their shoes and think about the investments they've already made mm -hmm. and what's the whole purpose of a website yeah yeah and you have to think right what would be the benefit to them of having a mobile app yeah so what would it be well um right now i'm trying to target personal trainers and the benefit for them would be the fact that they would be able to the clients would be able to use it and mm -hmm. have assistance when they're not there so they would have like workout videos to use on their own be able to, and they would also, as the themselves, would be able to be able to like track client information and book through the app, and check the, to see how their uh, food diet is going, if they're eating correctly. Also, they could drop their training. Right. And not, and also like for maybe people that don't have time to work out one on one with a trainer, they'll be able to just use that train through the app and yeah. kind of still get the same sort of result as they would if they were training one on one with a trainer. Okay, great. So there's some really good ideas and benefits there from what you're saying. It sounds actually quite exciting when you expand on it a little bit. I think it's just that it's quite short and straight at the beginning. It's a little bit too um, jugular orientated. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So because, I mean, the, 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 you know, the question of what will it take to do business with you is always a really good question, but the timing of that is crucial. Okay, so I just hold back a little bit on that one just yet. Um, yeah. if, if you said to me you wanted to do business with me straight away, I might think, right, okay, <laughs> who are you? Yeah. So it's yeah, not, exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's good in terms of giving a hook, and you know, I'm sure with some people it would work brilliantly, but just thinking on the, on the sort of broader spectrum, and also don't forget, you don't have to use the same opening every single time. You can vary it. So I am a mobile app developer, they'll just be like, okay, but they don't really know what that would entail for them. So okay. I feel like I just need to kind of... So yeah. think about that. When you say I'm a mobile app developer, um, just reword that slightly. What do you do? I develop apps. Right, okay. So you know when you say it that way around? Yeah. How does that sound? Better. Yeah. Yeah. So expand on it a little bit. You develop apps that... 
um, that help. Do you design them? Yeah, I do. Right, okay, so don't miss out that bit. So would I be like, I develop and design apps? Well, do you design apps that are specifically tailored to that person? Yeah. Okay, so try that line. So I'll do that, I develop and design apps specifically tailored to... I don't know how to wear it. Well, what, 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 are they, what are the apps there to do? The apps there to... Okay. Right. So put all that together. Okay. What have you got? So do I say it again? Yeah, go on. Okay. I develop and design apps that help to expand businesses and their client base. Okay. So try using the word grow instead of expand. Grow. Okay. Okay. So I develop and design mobile apps that help to grow businesses and grow their customers. Right, so grow the business. What are you looking to do? Attract more customers? Yeah. Okay, try that. Sorry, I'm kind of a bit confused. So, attract more customers? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, basically. Okay, so you're trying to grow their business by attracting more customers? Customers, yeah. Okay, so try that line. Okay, so I develop and design mobile apps that help to grow businesses and attract more customers. By attracting more customers. Oh, by attracting more customers, okay. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Does that sound like what you do? Yeah, that is what I do. <laughs> right, okay. I think it's just a, a nice way of explaining what you do rather than saying I'm a mobile app developer. Yeah, I think it's just that, like, okay. Yeah. Like, like, nobody cares. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could go on a phone call and say, I'm a trainer. <laughs> yeah, but that, but that doesn't mean anything. Exactly, Where, yeah. yeah. Whereas you've seen from my whole calls, I will say something like, I, I we design bespoke sales training programs. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Listen, always remember, just listen to what they're saying. It's so important. 100%, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Try that. Let me know how you get on. Okay, I will. Thank you so much. No worries. You take care now. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, so um, that was Fatima, and I'm going to now um, move on to our next caller, a um, young man called Chris, who I will hopefully be able to get hold of now. Hi Chris, it's Shia. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? Yeah, I've just been watching your live. Have you? <laughs> That's great. So, how can I help you, Chris? Oh, I can hear me. Yeah, um, I, I've got loads of questions about how much time you've got. Uh, the first one, um, I was wondering, my biggest problem right now is getting past gatekeepers. Right, gatekeepers, okay. Okay, so how would you word, right, that's a good one um, in terms of a qualifying question. So you want to know if they if they even invest in it, yeah? Yeah, so, but from the gatekeeper though, okay. how would I be able to find out? Well, how would you know if that gatekeeper knows or not? I wouldn't know. Well, how, how, what's the only way to find out? So, um, first of all, who do you want the email to go to? I want it to go to James at that point. Right, so why are you asking which email to send it to? What should the question be? Yeah, let me send him an email. Have we got James? Can you give me James an email, please? Brilliant, that's it. So, just ask. I mean, in the end of the day, Chris, I think what, what, what you've got to remember is have your qualifying questions. Don't be f afraid to ask the questions that you need answers for. Don't ask yeah. questions that you think might give you the answer. Ask the question that's going to give you the answer. Okay, that's, that's great. Why don't you um, yeah. 
I'm going I'm I'm going to let you go and just think about as many questions as you possibly can based on what you think will lead to yeah. the right benefits. Yeah. So have a go at that. Have a think about yeah. that, and then try so, try the different approaches that we've spoken about, and let me know yeah. how you get on. I've got everything done. So, okay. so yeah, lovely. Right. Good. Right. So okay. that should that should get you started, Chris. Yeah. All right. Uh, no. Thank you very much. I'm good. You're good welcome. Luck. Good luck with it. Have a good day. Are you too? Not even last day. I'm still alive. Yeah, what yeah. Okay, thanks. All right. Take care now. Bye. Bye. Okay, so um, what can I say? If, if there's anybody else who would like some coaching online, give me a shout. You can email me at shea, S-H-E-A, at wisemeup.co.uk, as you can see that site over there. Or um, you can text me my number is on the website you can what's uh, well whatsapp's probably a little bit more difficult but um yeah text me call me email me and um i'll see if we can schedule a call where i'm here and um we can uh, talk <laughs>